Hey fish friends, so I wanted to bring you guys a video that isn't really fish related. So I actually went to one of my local pet stores and was browsing a few weeks ago and I seen some really cute baby Pac-Man frogs and as you guys may know if you watch the channel we do already have a Pac-Man frog that is about a year old now and her name is Olive and we will show you guys some footage of her today. So this is Olive eating and I wanted to show you guys that because that's the method that I have to use sometimes to get her to want to nab the worm. So as you can see she's munching along and I keep her in an exoterra. I keep her in a 36 by 18 by 12 and some people say that it's too large of an, an enclosure to heat but I don't have a problem with it so I keep a UVB light on her and some people may say that even the UVB for the albinos is not good but I have got confirmation from the vet that that is a myth and it does help prevent metabolic bone disease so I do look at it as a need for them. weeks ago and I was looking around and seeing those Pac-Mans and I ended up not getting them at the time. I just didn't feel like I had the space for them even though we do. <laughs> I thought someone else might enjoy those Pac-Mans but I went in three weeks later and unfortunately they were both still there and they had shrunk in size. So. I decided to bring them home because they did not look good and I thought they could use some TLC. Okay guys, so this here is froglet number one. I'm gonna move. So this is my samurai that I bought and I'm going to give you guys kind of an idea. Here's my thumb right next to this little baby. Just a tiny little guy. And here is the other one I got. Oh, oh he looks so good today. So this one was super flat when I brought it home and it actually has gotten a lot better since it's been here and looks a lot better. Looks like it got in its bowl and bath last night too, so that's great. So this one I named Jabba, and I'll give you guys a size reference if he doesn't run away. To my thumb, they're both very tiny. Jabba is a little bigger than Shroom here. This is Shroom. I'm gonna show you guys how I have their tank set up. So I have a clip light here. There's the Cricut container that we put together in a video. I'll link the video down below if you guys want to go see that unboxing and how we put that together. Only Cricuts and don't really take anything else yet. This one here, Shroom, has been eating butterworms. And I'm about to get some hornworms in today. I don't like to purchase from any of the box stores because they put things on their insects that make them last longer that are not good for your animals. So I do not get any of my feeders from the pet stores. I get them from Josh's Frogs. So I ran home with these guys because I just felt like they were not gonna make it at the store one more day. And as you can tell, their tanks are a little dry because I just opened their cage for morning time. So every morning these guys get a spray and every night to keep their humidity between 70 and 80. And here is my humidistat. As you can see, it's right at 70 this morning. So that's great to see. And over here, this is our gauge for your temperature. 
and really you will want it to be down here but I have a hard time getting it to stick I'm gonna get them a digital one here in a few days that I can put down there so it'll be a little easier but you want their temperature around 80 degrees during the day up to 83 and then during nighttime it can fall down to 77 or 75 if it has to I like to keep them at least at 77 at night so here I'm feeding Jabba some dietary supplement from the vet. He's not been wanting to eat off the tongue yet. He just wants to eat crickets, which actually isn't very good for them to only eat crickets. So I've been giving him this as well. And he's a very shy frog, so he's coming around. You can see here he takes his meal like a champ. So we gotta leave him alone. Unfortunately, his friend Shroom has had some symptoms of toxing out and I have been wanting to give this one a dietary supplement as well from the vet. So same thing for this little guy and he takes his medicine like a champ as well. And as soon as I put him in his water bowl, he has a nice pee for me and has been doing a little better the past few days. So, just a little update on this guy. He has not been showing any more symptoms and he has been on his little dietary supplement for two days now. And it should help prevent any kind of metabolic bone disease or any kind of issues that they have. So, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy this little frog video. Please like and subscribe.